the best Android tethering apps without having to root today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Audible. Hey there, and welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews from Revision 3. I'm your host, Annie. So this week, Verizon and the FCC reached a big settlement that will allow Verizon customers to use their smartphones as Wi-Fi hotspots at no extra charge. In case you're not sure what that means, smartphone hotspotting allows you to use your phone's 3G or LTE internet connection to supply bandwidth to your laptop or even other mobile or tablet devices. Previously, Verizon had been charging about 20 bucks a month for the ability to tether your data plan to other devices like laptops and tablets. And meanwhile, last May, U.S. carriers started blocking third-party tethering apps on the Android market, seriously raining on everyone's parade. However, this week, the FCC determined that Verizon must abide by the rules of, quote, the pro-consumer open access obligations of the C-Block. So does this ruling mean that tethering is now completely free? Not exactly. As of June 28th, tethering is now included in the base price of your plan, just not an extra charge. Those of us with older plans will still have to buy the tethering feature, but the ruling also found that customers can use third-party tethering apps. Chances are this is an option for you, and CNET has a detailed rundown of who this applies to, which we will link to in the show notes. So coming up, we've got three apps to help you get an internet connection using your cell phone without any hacking or extra bills. But before we do that, I got to Googling, what is this internet everywhere culture really doing to our brains? Googling led me to Nicholas Carr's article in the Atlantic Monthly called, Is Google Making Us Stupid? I say yes. It's yes. Well, it's debatable. We'll say it's debatable, which is why you should read this book. So it turns out that article was a hit and Carr expanded it into his book, The Shallows, What the Internet is Doing to Our Brains, which explains how the internet is rerouting our neural pathways, replacing the subtle mind of the book reader with the distracted mind of the screen watcher, and it's available now at audible.com. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. They have over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iOS and Android devices anywhere at any time. Go to www.audiblepodcast.com slash appjudgment to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. All right, back to the tethering apps. Now, we should note that there are three different types of tethering here through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB. Not all of these apps do all three, but none require rooting. Our first recommendation is Easy Tether. 10 bucks in Google Play, but still probably less than you'd pay Verizon per month. Easy Tether allows tethering to Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, PS3, Wii, and Xbox, though you will need a computer for console tethering, and it is USB only. There's an Easy Tether and Easy Tether Pro, which are the same price and basically the same thing, but have different hardware and OS compatibility. Verizon users should go with the Pro. FoxFi is free, but does Wi-Fi and Bluetooth only. There are also some restrictions on what phones are compatible with Wi-Fi mode. So before installing this one, do read the description carefully. But again, it's free, so if you want to try tethering, it could be a good starter app. PDA Net is also free and does all three types of tethering, USB, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. And the developers also say there's no latency to your connection, so it'll work as fast as your phone or even Wi-Fi. You can also send and receive SMS directly from your computer using an SMS agent feature. However, the free version does limit secure sites like Gmail. And as a side note, we can't quite figure out why, but PDA Net does outsource its Bluetooth and hotspot functionality to FoxFi, which is interesting. So, Andrew Android users, what's your favorite tethering app? We've added a Facebook poll on our page, so let us know there or in the comments. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus on our homepage at App Judgment, and you can find me at Annie Gauss. See you next time.